my name is Axel Scherer. I will give you a quick introduction of where you should collect your device-specific functional coverage. If we have a UVM environment, we do constraint-driven uh, randomization and, and drive the device. So subsequently, we have to collect coverage to view if we have exercised uh, the device sufficiently. In that sense, we need to collect coverage that is related to device operation and dimensions, such like as buffers and corner cases and cross uh, coverage and things like that. As we've seen in our test bench, we are already collecting uh, functional coverage that is protocol specific in our interface UVCs. So there you can measure if you have exercised all the different uh, transaction types that are related to your protocol, for example, different burst types and so forth. But that's certainly insufficient. It, it, it's good and necessary, but you also need a different kind of coverage. And that is device specific collected in your module UVC. And that's why we recommend to place that kind of coverage collection. Let's look at some code for this. We have a component here just to cluster all our cover groups. And this component, this coverage collection component, sits inside of our monitor, inside our, our module UVC. So it's two layers down. In this simple example, we only have two coverage groups. And because this device has basically two buffers in it, two FIFOs in it, we need to uh, at least check the basic filling levels, right? So to determine if we can get to empty, half full, and full. Right? So we can determine if we actually stress the device and sign off appropriately. So the recommendation again is to put your functional coverage that is device specific inside of your module UVC. You can find more videos like this in this YouTube channel or at support.kidens.com at the video library for the Incisive Simulator. Have a great day, thank you very much, and talk to you soon.